message. Please well, give a warm welcome for his patience. So when we have all sat at at least two public meetings where the city presented, you know, the plan, and if you remember, we saw renderings, a rendering that showed 80 Center, and the building above just kind of faded out. It was like about half an inch tall, and it doesn't really show that we would have this blooming 40-story penal colony casting a terrible shadow all over Columbus, Columbus Park and, and, and our buildings. And I'm a resident of Chapman Towers, by the way. Uh so, for, in order to respond to the EIS, I said, let me dig into what is presented in the city's documents, which, by the way, are not easy to find. You have to go on multiple websites, uh, Department of Corrections, City Planning, and you find an EAS, an EIS, and a few other documents, and you really have to plow through them with a little bit uh, which is obviously was a setup. To say, and in bold text, it says, right, it's supposed to be closing that five times, in case you didn't read the 41 pages. So, um, in terms of what is in these documents, there's a, there's a very important fact that I found should have uh, made this proposal very much dead on arrival, which is that in terms of zoning, the city is, actually, is, is proposing a building, we took 40 stories, in terms of square footage, 1,560,000 square feet. The existing building, if you can just track the numbers, is 640,000 square feet. They go, want to go to 1.5 million plus. The allowable zoning will only allow them to add 70,000 square feet. So at the end of the day, they're violating their own zoning ordinance by a factor of 2.2. If this was a private developer, again, this would be dead on arrival, it just would not happen. Uh, I studied a little more. Uh, there is a, uh, seems to be a method to uh, appeal this. There's a, a, a government group, a government, part of the government agency, Board of Standards and Appeals, who grants zoning variances. They must hold a public hearing. So I think this is a, a very important line of attack to continue this this fight. 
他的建議之中市長的建議之中他是 and so just again generally I found that was a very strong point to push back on this thing. Uh, I, I am preparing a letter myself to send into the city. So it touches on that issue uh, very prominent. I use a little bit stronger words, not quite as strong as when I presented it. Community hearing, I actually want them to read the letter. Um, but again, other things we need to uh, highlight, as we've said, shadows, uh, the size of the study area, the landmark issue, and traffic. So all, all of these are very um, real points that we need to push back on. Okay. 